consider subscribing. Suhail says, why do we not say Bismillah before reciting Surah At-Tawbah? Surah At-Tawbah is chapter number nine in the Quran. And the most authentic opinion is that every single verse or a group of verses that used to be revealed to the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet himself used to command the companions to put it with the following verses or in the following surah or in that place or in that uh, uh, other place. Every single ayah that was revealed, it was upon the command of the Prophet ﷺ that it would be placed in a particular order. Now, when Ibn Abbas asked Uthman, may Allah be pleased with them, about Surah At-Tawbah, if you notice, there are 114 surah or chapters in the Quran. 113 of them begin with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Only Surah At-Tawbah does not have Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the beginning. So Ibn Abbas asked Uthman, why? And in conclusion, it was the Prophet والسلام, who used to tell them, separate between this surah and that surah with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But when it came to chapter 9, Surah At-Tawbah, the Prophet did not order them والسلام, to put it. So some companions thought that it should be connected to Surah Al-Anfal. And others uh, said that no, it is not. And the vast majority agreed, and this was the consensus of the companions from their time till date, that Surah Al-Anfal, chapter 8, is a separate chapter than chapter 9, Surah At-Tawbah, and there is no Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim dividing between them. Why? Because the Prophet did not tell them, alayhi salatu wasalam, and this is the most authentic opinion. Not that it is a chapter that exposes the hypocrites. Not that because it's a chapter that includes a lot of punishment and torment of the hypocrites and the disbelievers. These are old speculations, nothing to back them up. The most authentic opinion is the Prophet did not say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim to be placed in the beginning, so it was not placed and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.